All right, we're doing Shigeru Miyamoto. He is the mastermind behind Mario, Zelda, all those wonderful gaming characters since we were little kids. Uh, Multi-generational, my son plays them, I play them. It's great. I mean, this guy's a genius. Um, I'm doing this portrait because I had a dream. Uh, my son was playing Mario and all the characters were made out of sushi. It was nuts. So here we are, Miyamoto. I start my uh, squidding sketch here. My uh, canvas is rice and nori. I'm using hamachi, which is yellow jack for his skin. I just mold it on there, you know, the best I can. And try to save between the lines. And uh, it works very well. Very common fish in Japan and on all sushi bars across the world. You're gonna see hamachi right next to tuna. So funny story here, Miyamoto. We, uh, I have a little storyline goes. I wanted to do all these sushi characters in this, right? Sushi Mario Brothers. Bowser will be the, the big bad sushi chef, you know what I mean? Stealing all the bluefin tuna in the kingdom. Princess Peach, of course, takes care of them. She gets kidnapped. Mario and Luigi got to save her, right? Right? You taking notes? You writing this down? So, of course they do. At the end, all the bluefin tuna get freed. And uh, yeah, they, they uh, open a Mario, Luigi and Peach open a vegan sushi bar, gluten free also. So here I'm, uh, yeah, kind of weird, kind of out there. But then so is what I do, right? It's all, it's all part of it. <laughs> Let me know what you think. So here I'm using taco for his eyes and his teeth. I just mold them in there the best I can. You know, uh, I use squid ink around his eyes just to kind of create an eye line. Uh, his eyebrows as well. So I'm just drawing in before I add the seaweed and different ingredients that I'll be using for his face. Around his mouth here, I'm working it around his teeth. Underneath his jaw, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to mold the fish into the rice because I use it, it's, it's flexible as well. So I can create those cheek lines and his eye lines and all that with it. It's pretty, it's almost like a, a yeah, moldable, but it makes it even more moldable. So here I'm using uh, eel sauce for shade, a little ube sauce as well. Just trying to blend it in, get his complexion right, bring him to life a little bit, you know. Different sauces, eel sauce is very sweet. Ube sauce is a purple yam sauce. They're both used in all sushi, you know. Here I am just moving around the, the sauces, kind of coloring his hair a little bit with squid ink to add that, uh, just a map of where I'm gonna put all the all the other ingredients. Sarchu for his lips. So I think I gotta be very careful here not to get out his teeth. He's got, you know, some big teeth there that I, I had the mold. Pretty cool. I'm using the red around his lips. Just doing some more line work around his lips, his eyes, coloring in his eyes now. It's kind of, now he starts to come to life after I do that. I add that uh, eel sauce into his, his eyeball. It just brings it, kind of brings him out, you know? And I'm using daikon radish, marinated daikon and yamagobo for his hair. And it's just, I shred it really fine. Uh, marinate it in eel sauce and soy sauce and a little squidding to get that darkness to it and actually just plain daikon to kind of add that gray like grays and make it a little lighter in some areas what I do is mop here uh, it looks pretty good coming out good his eyebrows same thing I cut the daikon real thin smaller of course shape his hair with it I'm using tuna for a shirt and uh, of course, tuna is my favorite fish. It's very moldable. Um, and I'll end up coloring it with squid ink, give him that black jacket. And here I'm molding it, cutting it, sizing it the way I want to. And I'll give him a little daikon just for his white shirt, just straight up daikon, nothing crazy, it's pretty simple. Doing more work around his face to bring him to life. Yeah, it's, it, it's all a process, you know, it takes a very time consuming. And here I go, it's my first go at doing characters. In Mario, I did out of tuna, 
octopus and a little, I used eel for his little mustache, right? Just cut the tiniest little piece of eel out for that. So I tried to use different ingredients. I used hamachi for his face, tuna for the rest of his body, his hat, his tuna. Um, it was tough because he was, <laughs> he was tiny, you know, that big. So, you know, I, my first go at it, his hands are taco, which is octopus. And here the plant, same thing. I used tuna, taco for the mouth, the spots. And I'm doing rice grains for the, the little uh, reflecting, uh, the reflection in his pupil. I do it with all my portraits, a little trademark thing. I'm using wasabiko for the plant, uh, the tube in every Mario game, you know, yet the plant comes out of the tube and uh, the tunnel, if you will. And wasabiko is marinated, is tobiko marinated in wasabi, which is flying fish roe. I use a little black tobiko there to kind of make it look like a hole in the, in the tunnel. Shiso leaf, uh, I do around just to make it look more like a plant, you know. And cucumber for the stalk of the plant. And it looks like he's getting swallowed up by the plant. He's <laughs> jumping over his head to its doom, you know. I'm using white fish for the reflections on his nose, and it just kind of makes him, I don't know, adds more reflective look to his face. Just a little realistic thing I do, try to make him look better, you know. Pretty cool. There's one more thing I add on here that brings it together, just so he doesn't look like he's going straight to his doom here. I mean, bam, there it is. I had the little star. So he gets a lifeline. There he is, Shigeru Miyamoto. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you'd be doing me a big favor if you'd smash that subscribe button and lighting up that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Thanks again. Maki Master, out.